¿Qué tal? Tenemos algo muy especial que contaros y es que esta tarde es el gran estreno, el estreno mundial, el World Premiere de la historia interminable. Y se estrena aquí en Madrid. ¿Y por qué? Pues porque la producción es española, gracias a Iván Macías y Darío Regatieri, que tenemos la posibilidad de disfrutar de un musical que va a ser mundial y va a ser todo un éxito. Y hoy además tenemos eh, algo muy especial y es que en el estreno, en el estreno mundial, estará Limal. Limal estará con nosotros y ahora está ahora mismo con nosotros para hacer algunas preguntas. Limal, hello, good morning. Good morning. And lots of young people are saying, who's Limal? <laughs> you say Limal or Limal? How is the pronunciation? Well, in, in the UK they say Limal. Limal. But in Europe, it's so because I is pronounced like an E, isn't yeah. it, right? Yes. So Limal. Limal, okay. No matter. Well, it's yeah. the same. And here we are again with Never Ending Story. It's a kind of a love story between, between you and that song. Mm -hmm. It's incredible. It's a never-ending story with this song. So do you remember how does it start, this love song, the love story? How was the first meeting between you and the song? Absolutely. Of course I do. I, I'll never forget. Um, so uh, my record company at the time, EMI Records, suggested that I go to uh, Japan to the Tokyo Music Festival. It's a huge event. Attending also was Giorgio Moroda. So that's where we met. And when I came back to the UK, six weeks later, there was a phone call inviting me to fly to Munich, to his studio, to try, try my voice. Just try. It wasn't a guaranteed yeah. thing, okay? <laughs> And it was Giorgio Moroder, so... Uh, well. And, you know, to receive... Uh, for a musician to receive a call from Giorgio Moroder is really like an actor receiving a call from Steven Spielberg. <laughs> I imagine, yes, yes. You know? Yeah. So, um, but uh, as I've said before, I'm embarrassed to say that I went to bed the night before at 3 a.m. I'd been drinking, I'd been smoking. I was 23 years old uh, and I, I almost missed the flight. Um, when, when I arrived, um, I couldn't really sing the song because my voice wasn't working. And you know, my voice and my brain thinks singing in the evening is better. Because I did, I started in theater I started, I did a tour of Joseph, eight shows a week, and f six of them are in the evening. Yes, there are two matinees, but which no, no actor likes. So, uh, how were you uh, to work with Giorgio Moroder, number one producer in, in all over the world at 80s? How was it? Well, um, because I was young, and when you're young, you, you don't have the same worries, you don't, have the, yeah. you don't have the same fear. Yeah. I was fearless. <laughs> and also, uh, the Too Shy song with Keji Gugu was just number one all over the world, and number five in America. And so I was kind of on top of the world. <laughs> I wasn't nervous. I, I, I was thinking to myself, Giorgio Moroder, he's as excited to meet me <laughs> as I was excited to meet him. <laughs> okay. And we had a great rapport, actually. Yeah. Uh, Giorgio was very cool, you know, with the Italian accent, uh, pressing the buttons and talking to me <laughs> through the fader. Um, lovely man. Okay. A, pri a privilege to work with him. Yeah. Do you think that 80 was a magical era for cinema music? I mean, Willow, uh, Never Ending Story, uh, Into the Labyrinth. It's clear that 80s were pure magic in music uh, and movies. Do you think that that essence of fantasy has been lost nowadays? Well, we certainly need it more than ever. <laughs> ah, I know, yes. <laughs> That's for sure. No, I, I think, you know, we've all just seen the statistics of uh, that Disney Plus has has taken over uh, in subscription numbers from Netflix. So I, I think clearly people are still interested in fantasy. And we hope the success of this, sh this show <laughs> will prove that. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, and apart from that, your name is like a fantastic character of a book, of this book, Never Ending Story. Do you have realized that your name is kind of a fantastic name or something? It's a play. Your name is a play between your... Yeah? So, look, um, you know, 
there's this culture of stage names yeah. for actors and musicians. So is it Norma Jean becomes Marilyn Monroe and uh, Ethel Gum becomes Judy Garland yeah. and countless, countless others. So in the music business, I looked at, I remember, I remember I looked at uh, the name Sting yeah. and I thought, that's really cool. One word, one name, one word, you know, yeah. very easy to remember. So uh, I, t I, I arrived in the rehearsal with Kajigugu one day after like a year and I said, guys, I'm not Chris anymore, I'm Lamal. They're all like looking yeah. at me. <laughs> yeah. But it worked, it worked. Was it any different <coughs> in musical terms between Chris uh, Hamilton and Limal? No. Any different? Not really, no. Not really? No. Okay. I mean, certainly, you know, my mother calls me Christopher, especially when she's slightly concerned about something, you get the full name. Now, Christopher's a nice name, yeah. but you know, it's not, it doesn't really stand out in the music business, you know. Do you know what's happened nowadays? that you ask uh, somebody who, who lived in the 80s, a, uh, what, what is never-ending story? The most are going to uh, answer, well, it's a film, but everybody is going to, to answer, it's a Limal song. Everybody has uh, listened to never-ending story, the song. Uh, what do you think this song is so special, has so potential in, in the time? What is so special? Well, I, I will use your word. Um, I think it's magical. There's something in the composition that Giorgio has created where you kind of float along on this ride. It's like being on this um, <coughs> elegant funfair ride, this, this twinkling synthesizers, but then the, the sort of driving bass at the bottom. I always say too, it's like a ballad, but with a beat. Yeah, it's true. So it's very singable, and yeah. of course, the international lyric. Yes. Oh, and your voice, oh, oh, oh. and Beth Anderson's voice as well. It's yes, of course, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, it's incredible because uh, when a TV show needs to uh, kind of recreate some uh, 80s scenario, uh, there it comes again the song, never ending story, like in Stranger Things, for example. What do you feel when you, you listen to never ending story into a TV show like Stranger Things? It's kind of uh, uh -huh. 80s again. Yeah. So. I became the coolest nephew, uh, uncle from my nephews <laughs> when, when the Stranger Things happened. Yeah. 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 Because I'm getting the WhatsApps going, oh my God, <laughs> your song is on Stranger Things. Oh, yeah. So, uh, and of course, I saw, I saw on social media the streams that go, uh, the, you know, the Spotify streams go from 300,000 a month. Yeah. to 1.5 million after the broadcast of Stranger Things. Yeah. Very, very exciting. Very exciting. So congrats. Congratulations for all the success. And nowadays, Never Ending Story is a fantastic music play. Today, the world premiere is going to be incredible. You are going to be there. Can you tell us something that is going to happen tonight, or is it a secret? What are you going to do? Singing um, or more acting? Or let me speak to the theatre director. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't I don't know if you can. <laughs> I'm not talk sure. About this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know. Um, well, I think everybody knows that I'm going to be on the stage. I know <laughs> something like this. Okay. In 2020, you release a song "Still in Love." Okay. Yes. Yes. And then a little gap. You you didn't do anything. And now here, here we are, but where, tell us something about your future plans, music, acting, whatever. Okay. What are you preparing? Well, because, uh, you know, because of social media and because of uh, digital releases, it's much easier now for an artist to connect with fans. So I'm making my first album in 30 years at the moment, uh, probably ready next year or the year after. If the year after makes more sense because it's the 40th anniversary of Never Ending Story in 2024. So uh, watch this space. Yeah. Well, tonight because it's going to be a special. I think it's going to be a very, very good time. Now, I, I, and I'm going to ask you for a two pieces of advice, please. First, mm -hmm. first one, how can I get a childhood smile like that? Well, um, oh, <laughs> What's gosh. What's the secret? <laughs> um, 
Well, it's a special toothpaste from Fantasia. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, okay. And now, a second, uh, this is advice for young people who want to start into this difficult business, music and performance. Oh. Any advice from you? What do I know? I think it's difficult. It's a difficult one. Yeah. Um, I mean, it, it, in the old days, you know, you made demos and you send them to record companies. Now there are only four record companies and uh, it's very difficult to break through. I think you have to build, the way they do it today is you build your fan base yeah. via social media or your YouTube channel and then the record companies will sit up and take notice. But it doesn't guarantee anything. You've still got to have the good music. You've still got to have interesting lyrics. And that raises another question. Where are the new melodies and lyrics? In a hundred years of popular music, almost everything's been written. Yeah, yeah. So I think, I think it's very difficult. Very difficult challenge. So very patient. Well, you have to be like the... You see the guy on the beach with a metal machine? Yeah. The metal detecting, yeah. looking for treasure. Yeah. It's like that. You're looking for treasure. It's so difficult. You've got to dig, 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 yeah. dig, dig. You have to be very patient. <coughs> okay. So tonight is going to be a very good night. Uh, Kiss FM is a media partner official of this event. Yeah. So this is your camera. Uh, you can invite all the people <coughs> here in Madrid, here <coughs> all over the world, because this is going to be all over the world, for coming to, to enjoy La Historia Interminable, Never Ending Story, the musical and musical, you can tell us why they have to, to enjoy this, this event. It's a kind well, of invitation. I invite you to leave the world behind, leave the mortgage behind, leave the, uh, the pets behind, perhaps with someone to look after them, and come and escape in this beautifully produced show that I saw last night, um, the sets, the music will uplift you. It will feed your soul. Um, bring the children. They will love it. Enjoy. Limal, thank you very, very much for these words, for, for stay with us, uh, with Kiss FM. Um, have a special time tonight here yeah. in Madrid. It's thank you. To be. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Esto es Kiss. Lo mejor de los 80 y los 90 hasta hoy. Esto es Kiss.